Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. So the next topic that we'll be covering in digital electronics is KMAC or Carnot map. This is a particular method of simplifying the Boolean algebra expressions. So this is one of the most important topic in digital electronics once again because this will deal in how to reduce a particular given Boolean algebra expression to the lowest possible form. Sometimes applying the laws and reducing the particular Boolean expression is not easy. However, KMAP will be very handy and very useful in order to reduce a particular given Boolean expression to the lowest possible form. So, if you really like this video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. The links are given down in the description box. And also share it to as many people as you can who can get benefited out of it. So let's start with the topic. So as I said, KMAP is nothing else than Carnot maps. You, you have learned and in the previous video also I have uh, you know put in videos of Boolean algebra expression. How to reduce the particular Boolean algebra expression to its lowest possible form by using different laws which are there. However, another method to do it is KMAP. So if you know KMAP, you can also try to reduce a particular Boolean expression to the lowest possible form. KMAP basically follows KMAP gray code. That is very important. I have already uploaded a particular video on codes. In that, I have explained to you about gray code. So if you haven't watched the video, please go and watch it out. It's there in the network player, in the digital electronics playlist of my YouTube channel. However, KMAP plays a very important role in such kind of topics, in such kind of concepts. So please make a note of it. And remember that KMAP uses gray code. I hope I am very clear to you. Okay. So what is KMAP representation? So basically KMAP representation deals with different kind of variables. We will be talking about two variable, three variable and four variable. I hope I am very clear. So KMAP is one of the methods of simpl simplifying a particular Boolean algebra expression and it uses gray code. So, the KMAP representation for two variable, please understand, I have just given a general format for two variable, three variable and four variable. Then we will see how to apply it in SOP and POS. However, first let us see the general format. So, when I talk about two variable, it is function of A comma B. So, what happens is that you have 0 and 1, you have 0 and 1. So, since it is two variable, the MSB term will come over here A, the second term will come over here B and since it is just one variable, we will have 0, 1, B also will have 0 and 1. So what is the value of 0, 0 becomes 0, 0, 1 becomes 1, 1, 0 becomes 2, 1, 1 becomes 3. I hope I am very clear with this. Next you have the 3 variable in which we have Again over here, if you see how do you represent a 3 variable, the MSB bit comes over here as A and the next bit B and C comes over here. So what happens is that you have 0 and 1 over here and here you have 2 bits that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So what happens in that you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0. Again you have 1, 0, 0. 101, 111, and 110. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I hope I am very clear to you. I will repeat it. You should be very handy in order to draw K maps very quickly for a 2 variable, 3 variable, and 4 variable. So, what did I say? When it is 2 variable, just keep the first variable here, second variable over here. 0 for the first variable, 0 and 1 for the second variable and just try to make combinations that is 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, you have the next thing that is for a 3 variable KMAP representation in which what happens is that you have A value coming over here and B and C value coming over here. So, the A value will take the values 0 and 1. The BC value will take values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 
So what happens in that is you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 0. Now always it is given in the form of grey code. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Had it in binary form, it would have been 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. But in grey code, you have this as the ascending order. And hence, it's written this way and you have the three variable concept. Then you have the four variable concept in which you have A and B over here, C and D over here. Again, A and B two bits. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And C and D is again two bits. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So what happens ultimately is you will have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 1, 0. Similarly, we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 0. Similarly, you have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Again, 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So if you just write a decimal form of it, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you should be very clear and actually you should have by heart this 3 kmap representation. So when a question is given to you on two variable, you should know to write 0, 1, 2, 3. If you are talking for 3 variable, it should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you are talking about 4 variable, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I hope I am very clear with this. So the next form that you have is the SOP representation in terms of KMAP and the POS representation in terms of KMAP. So already I have put a video on SOP and POS. If you haven't watched the video, please go and watch it out. In that, what we are doing is, SOP always stands for summation, that is sum of products. And product, POS is product of sum, is always represented by pi. So what happens is that, firstly, when A, B, C, D is given to you, you should remember this format. And quickly you should write this format over here. In which your A B over here, C D over here as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And just write all this variable 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Fine. Now, since it is S O P, since it is summation, remember that all these values should be indicated by 1. If you see over here, you have 0, 2, 7, 9, 13. All these values will be indicated by 1. Why 1? I am talking because we are talking about SOP, sum of product, summation value. Hence, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. 1. That is very, very, very important. I hope I am very clear to you. So whenever a SOP or any kind of SOP or POS, any kind of KMAP you need to draw, first see how many variable it is. If it is 2, 3, 4, it can be 5 also, but generally it is 2, 3, 4. So if it is a 4 variable kind of thing, just remember this KMAP and draw it over here. Fine. Then what you need to do is that, since it's a summation value, it is SOP, we will be representing all these values by 1 in the respective boxes. I hope I am very clear with this. Then what you need to remember is, you have these various bits as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, so on and so forth. So always remember, in case of SOP, in case of summation, we have 0 indicated by bar and 1 indicated by no bar. So I hope I am very clear with this. So when I talk about SOP or sum of product, 
remember that we are always indicating that with a summation value okay we are always indicating this with a summation value and the values are going to be 0 2 7 9 13 so whatever are the values are given draw a k map for four bit variable and all those values should be indicated by 1 and the other values will be given as if it is a 0 it is indicated by a bar if it is 1 it is indicated by no bar so you have 0 0 it is a bar b bar if it is 0 1 it is a bar b I hope I am very clear with this similarly when I talk about a POS or a product of some representation it is indicated by pi so what you need to do is you have a 4 bit k map representation like a b c d in which you have 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and then the terms mentioned over here will be indicated by 0 if you know that in case of my SOP in case of my summation value all these terms are indicated by 1 but in case of your POS that is product of sum all these values are indicated by 0 so 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. So I hope I am very clear. Also one thing that I have missed over here is writing the representation. It is totally opposite to it. In case of SOP, for 0 we had bar and for 1 we had no bar. Similarly in case of POS, for 0 we have no bar and for 1 we have bar. That means 0, 0 can be given as AB and 0, 1 can be given as a B bar. So completely opposite to what it is. So I hope I am very clear with this. So just giving you an introduction of K map was the intention of this particular video. In the next class we will be talking about different sums, different numericals on K maps very importantly. So you should know those numericals and those sums very very clearly in order to have a clear understanding about this thing. So I hope I am very clear with this. So I will just give you a summary again. K-map is basically a Karnog map which is used for the reduction of a particular Boolean algebra expression. It uses grey code. This is a 2-bit, 3-bit and 4-bit representation. Please remember it well. Then we have SOP and POS representation. SOP is sum of products which is given as summation. POS is product of sum which is given as pi. In case of SOP, all these values 0, 2, 7, 9, 13 will be given in terms of 1. Whereas in terms of your POS, all this value will be given in terms of 0. Okay. And most importantly, here you have in case of SOP summation value, you have A bar, B bar. For 0, you have bar and for 1, you have no bar. But here you have in case of POS, A, B and a B bar in case of such value. It is opposite. In POS you have for 0 no bar and for 1 you have bar representation. So I hope I am very clear. The notes are present down in the description box also. Please to download it from there and make a proper note of it because there will be next video on the solving of KMAP numericals. So for this, this concept should be clear to you. So if you like the video, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and share it to as many people as you can. Thank you so much guys. God bless you.